Oh, the wine is bubbling. I have a berry blend going here and an apple. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. So this is day two. So the wine is going in my pantry. And my pantry is still staying very neat from the last time I organized it. I've got all my snacks here. I've got different soup starters, nuts and grains, some cheese sauce. Up here I have my bread flour, my baking things. I have some seitan up there, seitan um, mixes and baskets. More grains and I have baskets like for bread. And my iron. My sugars, my stevia, some tea. Creamers in there. And then I just have all these drawers filled with different different things. Some snacks, some salad fixings, plastic bags, green bags, bread bags. So this is one of my pantries, my peanut butter, nut butters. And nuts. Over here I have my um, some of my spices and uh, vinegars and more spices. So I have my wine brewing in my pantry. I keep these doors closed and so it's dark in there. So the wine is doing well. And I'll keep an eye on it and see when it's done, we'll taste it. Do you feel the movement? I feel it. It's a movement to self-reliance. And so many people are jumping on that train because things are getting really a little scary. Not to be an, a fear monger or anything like that, but supply lines are being held up. Uh, in California, you see it, all the ships lined up with um, along the coast, and now I hear it's along the east coast too. Lots and lots of ships down the coastline that aren't getting unloaded. I don't know what that's all about, but um, we all need to rely less on other people to take care of us and to rely more on our own strengths and to take care of ourselves and our families. And if that means making your own wine, then make your own wine. Learn how to cook. Learn how to cook the basics. Get yourself a book like, um, oh, I forget the name of it now. Uh, I'll have to remember. But anyway, um, any books, there's tons of books out there on homesteading. Now, you don't have to have a big, huge backyard to have a little homestead. I have a little backyard homestead in my little townhouse here. As long as you can get containers and seeds, stock up on seeds, they're important so that you'll have food. Stock up on your basics like flour, sugar, tea. Leave the processed stuff on the shelf and spend your money on things that you can make yourself so that you have enough nutrition. You don't always have to have fresh produce if it's winter time. Stock up on some uh, freezer food. 
Uh, if you can and you can afford it, get yourself a generator. If you live where there's sun, get yourself a um, solar generator. If you can't and you can afford it, get yourself a whole house generator. Um, now that with that, you have to rely on gas lines. I realize that. But things probably would not go awry all at once so that you would still have some means of keeping warm. Or think about installing a fireplace, a real fireplace where you can burn wood, like a wood stove, somewhere in your house. Now, you don't need to use this stuff all the time. I'm not saying that, but in case of emergencies or get yourself some uh, kerosene heaters or propane heaters if you live in a cold climate because if the heat does go out if something happens to the grid you're not going to freeze to death and you can at least huddle in one room with a lot of blankets that you should have on hand um, keep those things stored somewhere so that you're safe and warm and uh, don't get rid of everything. You know, I know there's this movement now towards minimalism and the tiny house movement. And I, I like those things myself. I really do. They're very appealing. But even though that has its merits, I think depending on where you live, now that works fine if you live on an island somewhere where the weather's always wonderful that works great. But if you live somewhere like I do and it gets really cold in the winter, you might want to think of some alternate heat sources. Um, if you have a, an electric stove, you might want to think about getting one of those uh, camp stoves or you could get a um, the little propane burner things that they have now. And you know, I've always been one that said, you know, hope for the best and plan for the worst. So keep your pantries full. Don't wait until you have, you know, two crusts of bread in the whole house to go out and shop. First of all, you're going to spend a lot of money that way because you're going to be shopping for everything. And uh, secondly, you're not going to have anything available. So, you know, always plan a little bit for the future. It certainly doesn't hurt. And the, the positive part about that is um, you'll have what you need when, when, it's, when you need it. So um, I know a lot of people don't like to do it that way. They only want exactly what they need right at the moment. But uh, if that works for you, that's great. But you might want to think ahead a little bit and just, uh, just take care of yourself and your family. So as we can see, you know, this whole, um, can I say, pan, pan illness? <laughs> It's been going around. I don't know. I mean, who who would have thought? Yeah, never mind. I'm not going there. Um, who would have thought that? You know, like two years ago, that all this would happen. People would be losing their jobs, and I, I could go on and on about this subject, but I'm not going to. I'm not going there. Um, you guys all believe what you believe, and that's fine. So far, we still live in a free country where we are able to do that, and thank God. So, but those people that plan ahead don't have the sense of panic and urgency than somebody that doesn't plan ahead. So I'm a big advocate for that, you know, for planning ahead. And, and that doesn't mean you have to turn into a hoarder or you know, take food away from other people that need it. That's not what I'm talking about. But to have enough for you and your family, 
That includes water if you have pets. Uh, make sure you have enough for them. Get a little extra dog food. Because um, you never know. I mean, this world is crazy now. It, it's absolutely insane. Um, I've been spending a lot of time researching things and um, trying to figure things out. I have my own theories on it that I'm not going to get into here. Uh, because like I said, not everybody thinks the way that I do. But uh, it's really alarming. It is really, really alarming. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I haven't been too active here on YouTube because uh, I haven't had that much to say for one thing. Um, and uh, with so many people having so many ideas, sometimes it's a little difficult to not offend anyone. So um, anyway, I'll be back in a little while and we'll continue our talk. So another thing that I want to try that's going to be uh, new for me, I mean, I used to, used to just, okay, I feel like going out shopping. I'm, I'm going out shopping. And then I'd buy this and I'd buy that and yeah, that wasn't working for my wallet. So then uh, I've been shopping once a month for quite a while now, but I'm finding the problem that I'm having with that is uh, the hauls get to be too big and then um, I'm spending too much time hauling the bags in, going up the stairs, up and down the basement stairs, putting things in my pantry, up and down the stairs to get to the garage in the house. And um, I find that at the end of the day when I've done that, I'm pretty much shot. So uh, I want to try and do uh, two week shopping hauls instead of a week. I mean, if I need it, if I don't need it, then I, I won't do it. But if I need things, then I'm going to break it up into two weeks in the, in the month and see how that works for me. Uh, if I find that I'm spending too much money on impulse buys and things like that, then I'll go back to once a month. Um, now I still want to do the uh, the Walmart delivery. I will still continue to do that, uh, and I will put things in my cart there as I need them. And then once a month I'll have that delivered. But I still want to um, go to my favorite stores once a month, which is Marks and Aldi's and Dollar Tree, and you know keep my stock up that way. So right now I'm finding myself, I have a, a good stock uh, of all the things that, that I need to cook. Uh, I have my proteins, I have my, um, my vegetables, uh, I needed fresh produce. That I don't need too often, but uh, you know, those three heads of lettuce will, will last me a long time. Um, but that way, um, I wanna see if that works for me. So. If, if you want to save money, try and see, you know, if, if once a week works for you, wonderful, or once every week and a half or two weeks or three, what, whatever works for you um, and whatever works for your preference. But I personally, the, the thing that, that I like the least now about shopping, I don't like wandering around the store for one thing. Um, I find that rather boring anymore. But the worst part of it for me is actually putting the things away. And when I have a big haul, then yeah, I just don't like to do that anymore. So anyway, I just wanted to share what I'm going to do. What do you guys do? Leave me a comment below and let me know what works for you. Maybe you have a better idea that the rest of us might, you know, get some benefit from. So leave me a comment below. And then please don't forget to subscribe. It's, it helps my channel grow. And um, if you give it a thumbs up and a like, uh, it'll also push my YouTube video out in the uh, YouTube algorithm. And uh, YouTube will share my videos with more people. And that also helps my channel grow. And that gesture 
of kindness from you is much appreciated from me. I appreciate all you guys and that you take the time to visit with me. So I did a little haul today and I spent $49. Um, and I went to my local drug mart and they had all this on sale, well, most of it, not all of it. But um, so their pasta was a dollar each. And I know uh, Dollar Tree always has pasta for a dollar, but they have more shapes. So I got nine of these. Um, then they had these for a dollar, and I know Drug Mart has those too, but they also have more um, flavors of choices. So I got three of those because pasta and spaghetti, and I use this for everything. I make lasagna out of it. I make pizza out of it. And then uh, you can even make Mexican out of it, depending on what you're going to do. Just add some other spices. Just be careful with the salt. So um, I always keep these on hand. I, I like those. I've been buying those for years. They also had their coffee on sale. These are regularly $4.99. And they were $3.99. And I've really... Uh, started to like this chocks full of nuts coffee because um, it, it does have a little bit of a nutty taste. I don't know if it's supposed to, but they actually started out as a, a nut company and then they started making coffee and now they just do coffee. So, and I wanted to try something different, so I got the French roast. Um, I like Folgers Black Silk, it's really good, but I wanted to try. Um, their full body. Normally I don't like real strong coffee, but I wanted to give it a try. And friends of mine that come over do like a little bit stronger coffee. So um, I got these veggie chips and they were, um, I think you can get them cheaper at uh, Dollar Tree, but they were um, $2 a bag. It was uh, two bags for $4. So, and I like these veggie chips. They're, they're really good and not too many calories and they're not quite as bad as potato chips so and I love potato chips that's like my favorite salty snack now I was out of produce pretty much I have a tiny bit of lettuce left so I got this romaine and that was uh, two for five dollars so I only got one pack because I can't eat two packs so um, that was like two fifty the spinach, it's a big bag of spinach, that was 99 cents, so I want to make some soup, and that'll be going in there, and, you know, you can use it in smoothies. And then I've been liking these bags, this was a dollar something. I like these bags of already shredded cabbage. I know buying a whole head is cheaper, but this has the carrots in it and a little bit of red cabbage, too. And I like uh, making this either in a coleslaw or a stir fry or uh, putting it in soup. So I got that, and that's all for the produce that I'll be able to eat for the next couple weeks. I got uh, a bunch of bananas. They were not on sale, they were 59 cents a pound. But uh, I like the small bananas, I don't like real big bananas. So I got those. And then they also had these uh, button mushrooms on sale, and those were uh, three packs for $4, which was a really good price. And I want to make some veggie meat using some of these, and I love mushrooms. And then I bought two more 100% juice. These are Old Orchard, and I wanted to try a couple different flavors. This one's white, uh, Wild Cherry, and this one is... Um, white grape. So uh, I'm not a real fan of the, uh, the regular grape juice, but I do like the white grape. So um, in, a, in a couple weeks I want to try and make some more wine out of these if the other wine turns out. And then I got this finally. Uh, it came and these are um, it comes with these are wine stoppers and different things, and 
it's one of those you know, needs to be charged but anyway where you uh, suck the air out of the bags and it uh, was a pretty good deal I think it was like 20 some dollars I'll, I'll put the price in the video but you get different sizes you get quart and you get gallon and a couple more gallon sizes and and this one was the best deal I could find on Amazon when I was looking so you might be able to find a better deal but I like the fact too that it came with these wine corks so that if you um, don't finish the bottle you can uh, seal it so I got that and that came that was part of my Christmas gift and since I'm into preserving my food uh, this will come in really handy I have a bigger machine but it's very cumbersome to drag it out so um, I, I just thought this would be easier and I would use it more often so anyway that was my little haul and uh, not too bad uh, so I'm, I'm stocking up I didn't really have to have any of this I mean I, I did want to have the produce because I'm out I've been doing really well using up all my produce but uh, the coffee will be extra in my stash uh, along with the pasta and the pasta sauce so that was my little haul and I'll be back in a few minutes so I ended up spending $44.06 and I got $10 cash so it does say $54 but I just ended up spending $44 so that was a pretty good haul for $44 I thought and uh, right now there is nothing that I need um, as far as food goes but as I said, I am going to continue to stock up um, just because uh, these times are like really crazy. Um, another thing that is a good idea, which I've been doing already for quite a while, is keeping gasoline in your car, keeping your tank full, just in case. Um, and with the prices as crazy as they go up and down now, gasoline prices have been wonderful. My dog's chewing a bone. Um, but they're starting to go up, and I have the feeling that they're going to be going up a lot more in the future. So um, whenever I see gas is cheap, or if I go to Costco and I'm, I'm in my car, <laughs> he's really having a fun time with that bone, um, then I will fill up my tank, even though it, I may only need a quarter of a tank. And it does help keep the cost of gasoline down. That way I don't have to go and fill up a whole tank. So that's uh, something that I always do to save money. And I can't turn off my computer because it just does whatever it wants to do. So today was one of those days. It was just, I should have stayed home. But anyway, um, I had an appointment. When I got to the appointment, they said, well, we don't have anything here that says you have an appointment. So it's like, well, okay, I made the appointment online, but well, did you get an email confirmation? And I should have known I didn't, that it hadn't gone through, but well, it was right down the street. So anyway, so that was the first thing. Then I went and did my haul. I figured I might as well do something productive while I'm out here. I got dressed, I'm in the car. It's supposed to, the weather's supposed to turn soon so I thought I might as well do something productive so and I had planned on stopping and getting some produce anyway so I did that and I put gas in the car and I came home and I was getting ready to do my haul video there wasn't any juice it's like 
where's my juice? <laughs> you got to check everything these days. Seriously. And I mean, I know a lot of people are overwhelmed out there, but really check your stuff before you leave. So then I tried to call the, the drug store where I drug mart. Nope, couldn't call them. I tried like three times. Nope, it would always disconnect, disconnect. So I was like, okay, get back in the car, take your receipt, go get the juice. And so I, I went and I got my juice. They gave it to me right away, no problems. And I, I asked them, I said, you know, I've tried to call three times and they said, oh, our phone system's down. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm telling you, it's crazy. <laughs> Anyway, you got to keep a sense of humor. You really do, especially nowadays. Don't let it get you down. Don't let it drag you through depression. You know, um, make your own little world comfortable. Hang out with people you love and that make you feel good. Get rid of people on your social media that are agitators. Uh, I've been doing that. You know, it's like, okay, I thought we were friends, but we're not. So, um I don't like when people purposefully agitate other people. That That's not cool. So those people are out the door and see you bye. Makes you feel better to get rid of people like that in your life. You don't need that. There's enough people in life that love you and value you and uh, make you feel good about yourself. You don't need people in your life that make you feel crummy. So say goodbye to those people and don't give them a second look. Leave them in the rear view mirror and just forge ahead. Okay, so that's all that's new with me. Um, hopefully, I'm just staying home the rest of the day. I'm going to go put my feet up and make myself a, a, a chai latte. I've been loving those lately with my little, little machine, my frother. And uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my day. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day too. Uh, be good to yourself. Be good to others. I love you guys. I want to wish you abundant blessings. And I'll see you next time.